I poop five to seven times a day. I am Mr. Fiber, okay? Does it make sense? You listen to me about fiber. All the other people that have ever posted anything about fiber, delete the video, don't watch it ever again. This is the only fiber video you'll ever have to watch. Coach Greg, and today I'm gonna make the most boring topic in the world not boring, fiber. Tracking calories, net carbs, should you count macros? What is fiber? I can explain it all in simple terms because it is simple. It's just no one knows how to explain the simple stuff. Okay, so pay attention, watch this video because half of you are idiots. Nutrition labels lie half the time and trick you. You don't know how many calories you're eating and you think you're such a genius. I know more than Coach Greg. He doesn't know anything. I'm tracking macros on my fitness bell. And I eat this much a day. No, you don't have a clue how much you're eating. I know more how much you're eating than you know yourself. And I'm not even watching you eat. Anyway, I'm not a doctor. No, no doctor. Doctors don't know this. As if a doctor knows anything about fiber. They know a little bit. 10% of what I know about fiber. I eat more fiber than everyone in the world. Find me one person. If this gets 100,000 views, I want 100,000 people to search for one human being on the planet Earth that eats more than me. Find a Furious Pete's. All those guys don't eat as much fiber as me. Speed eaters, power eaters, I don't care. I am the god of fiber, okay? No one, right babe? Who eats more fiber than me? Only you. Only me. What does it smell like around here? Horrendous. She's so mad at me. I, and I eat more egg whites than most people. Combine that with the fiber. I poop five to seven times a day. I am Mr. Fiber, okay? Does it make sense? You listen to me about fiber. All the other people that have ever posted anything about fiber, delete the video, don't watch it ever again. This is the only fiber video you'll ever have to watch. Let's do it. Okay, what is freaking fiber? Fiber is something that you eat. It comes from like plants. Like if you eat grass or freaking vegetables and fruits, it has fiber, okay? It's got two kinds. Basically, you're gonna simplify. Soluble, insoluble. Soluble, it's able to be like mixed into water. And it forms a lot of bulk. It joins into the water and like makes thick paste. Kind of like, like this stuff here, like guar gum and like xanthan gum and they use it in all these like jellos and protein powders and it makes stuff really thick because it holds a lot of bulk a lot of water it gels up in your stomach and it slows absorption so you don't get this, this huge insulin spike perhaps it adds bulk it makes you poop more it's more filling because you have this bulk gel and when your stomach stretches out you're less hungry Okay, that's just really how you have to know. It has about two calories per gram. It's like a carb, but it doesn't have four calories per gram. It just says less, it's two, okay? It's not a zero, it's two, it's halfway. You can remember that, half of four. We all know carbs have four calories, two calories. Insoluble is the other kind. It's cellulose, it's like, like when you have a plant, it makes it like hard so that the plant doesn't like fall over cellulose cell wall all this kind of stuff you don't give it poop about in biology forget it don't worry about that it adds bulk it makes you poop it's just gonna go right through you you can't break it down we're not freaking cows we don't have all these enzymes that break this stuff down we can't live on hay we need real food okay hay to us is not food it's got a zero calories because it runs right through you Okay. Now, you can have some bacteria in your gut and a bacteria breaks it down for you and then possibly breaks it down and then you can get some of the energy from it. Maybe in some instances and you're starving and you do it and you have enough bacteria in the right situations there and you get a couple extra calories. We're not worried about a couple of extra freaking calories. I burn a couple of extra calories making this video. I'm not worried about freaking fiber and the little insoluble salt, whatever, who cares? What are some benefits of fiber? Well, it lowers cholesterol, it can bind over on fat, poop it out, gel it over. Maybe you poop out a couple extra calories. 
you're healthier, it's good for you, fiber's awesome, yeah, it makes you have a food belly, it bloats you, you don't look as good after you eat a jumbo salad, so what? It's good for your health. Add more fiber if you want to be healthy. Add more fiber if you want to be stripped year round. Just do it. Fiber is good for you. What about reporting fiber and nutrition labels? You can look at all these nutrition labels and it'll say fiber. You're not going to see insoluble fiber and soluble fiber and two calories here and zero there and the whole thing. The FDA don't care. They just put fiber, right, eh, no one cares about fiber. Oh, a couple grams, of, whatever, there's fiber in it. Oh, it contains, it's high in fiber. Market it, popcorn, let's see. Let's look at popcorn. Nine grams of fiber in a serving. Boom, lots of fiber. No wonder it's filling. No wonder I lose weight eating this stuff. That's out of 160 calories, it's not even the full bag. Full bag would have like 12 grams of fiber. Tons of fiber, eat your popcorn. Take that rice, you think rice is healthier than popcorn? How much fiber is in rice? Not enough, ah. Every single country have different laws on what they have to say on food labels. So whatever your f country is, they might not say fiber, they might say fiber, they might report calories, they might not. Some labels will count the calories in the fiber, some won't, some won't report it, some will, blah, blah, blah. Let's take good old cocoa example. Good old cocoa. Coco, cocoa in my coffee. Coco coffee, alliteration. Hershey's cocoa. Okay, let's look at Hershey's cocoa. A tablespoon, five grams, 10 calories. Fiber, two grams. Protein, one, fat, fat point five. Now, if I just did some quick math for you and I said three grams of carbs, four calories per gram, that's 12. One gram of protein, four calories per gram, that makes 16 calories and a half a gram of fat, fat has nine grams calories per gram, that's four and a half, so that's gonna be about 20 calories. It has 10, it says 10, it says there's 10 calories. Well, why? Well, maybe they don't count the fiber. So the net carbs, stupid net carb is, well, take the carbs, subtract the fiber, and you're left with a certain amount of carbs, and it's a, I know the net carbs, and I'm in ketosis because and the keto is the low carbs, and even though you get calories from the carbs, it's all like crazy. Like, you don't understand this stuff. No one understands that. I mean, I understand, but it's pointless to worry too much about these carbs, okay? And fiber, you're going to understand. Watch this. Watch this. Just watch, okay? Three grams of carbs minus two fiber, that's equal to one gram of carb. Three minus two is one, math lesson. Three minus two is one. One times four is four, four calories of carbs in here. Plus one, t one gram of protein times four, that's eight calories. And a half of nine is four and a half, that would make 12 and a half. So if we just take the carbs and subtract the fiber and say, oh, it's only got one gram of net carbs, it's gonna have 12 and a half calories, but it says 10. How can it have 10? Because they round down. They round down. But, but Greg, but, but Greg, I thought fiber had two calories per gram. It doesn't say what kind of fiber is in, so you don't know. So like literally, how many of you are gonna look at the stinking food label and be like, oh, it's got 1.4 grams of the insoluble times this calories. It's too much work. The labels can't even get it right. What makes you think you're gonna get it right, okay? Okay, so you think you understand Coco. From Costco, Coco from Costco. Coco from Costco. And Coco from Sobeys. Cheaper cocoa. Let's compare these ones. The same exact macro profile. The same exact macro profile. It has exactly the same stuff. And the calories is 10 and the other one's 20. So one counts the fiber as calories and the other doesn't. So what do you think dieters do? Oh, I'm going to buy this one and not this one because it's got less calories. It's the same cocoa. The same box of cocoa was put into this bottle and then the next scoop went into this bottle and then the next scoop went into this bottle and the next scoop went into that and this one has more calories than this one? Are you stupid? This is stupid. 
So you're at home trying to figure out your calories and you put your cocoa in your coffee and the whole thing and the calories and the net carbs and I'm in ketosis because I'm under 50 grams of this and the calories and the, oh, but my gut bacteria digested it and it affected my blood glucose and blah, blah, blah. And you think you're a freaking genius and you're a moron. Don't even count, don't even try, don't even care. That's what I'm saying. Calories and counting calories. You can't just figure out exactly how much you eat. 95% of coaches don't even know how many calories they're eating. So what do you mean? Whoa, Greg, well, I got my plan. And how come my range of calories is 2250 to 2650 a day? Shouldn't it be exact? Some days you're hungrier than others and you eat more. Some days you're not hungry and you eat less. It averages out somewhere in the middle. So sometimes you're going to eat this cocoa, sometimes that, this 10, that's 20, whatever. It's average is 15. My fitness pal, oh, I just track it here. Well, how do you know my fitness pal tracked the cocoa properly? You think my fitness pal looked into if it's soluble or insoluble fiber and how many grams and rounded it up or down and kept it exact and now you know how many grams of fat or calories there are? No, they don't know. It's all estimates. Then you get these wraps. And lap, wrap labels lie, different labels will lie. Some have like, whoa, it's so low in calories, and some it's like, whoa, it's higher. And they subtract the carbs out, and sometimes it doesn't make sense even after they do what they're doing. Let's look at Mama Lupe's 70 calorie wraps. 70 calorie wraps. Two grams of fat, 18 calories. 10 grams of carbs, 40 calories. Five grams of protein, 20 calories. Let's add it up, 78. It has 70 calories. So it has 78 calories in this thing, but yet it says 70 on the package. But then if we subtract the fiber and we average it as two calories per gram, we have to subtract 14 calories. So instead of 78, it's 64. So really the calories is less than it says. And that's assuming all the fiber is the two calorie kind. What if it's insoluble and has zero calories? So it has probably less than 60, but it says 70. So it's wrong. So if you're trying to calculate your calories and you're eating this, you're gonna be like overestimating how many calories you're eating. Then if we go with the Joseph wrap. Well, it's, they're tricking you already. Do you know how many clients tell me that there's 60 calories in this? Why? Because it says there's 60 calories in this. It's 120. There's four of these, four wraps. And it says four wraps, four flatbreads, six grams of protein per serving, 60 calories. If I see that at the grocery store, I'm thinking this thing has 60 calories. Then you turn it over and you look at the fine freaking print. Eight servings per container? Well, what do you mean? There's only four breads. Serving size, one half flat bread. So they say how many calories is in half of one of these. So it's double. So I literally have clients eating double the calories they think because they're eating the whole wrap and they're thinking it's a half a wrap because they market it that way. So they're tricking you. Then they add up the calories. In this one, they don't count the carbs as fiber. They just subtract them right off. And it says, you know, Counting carbs, eight grams minus the two grams of fiber equals six grams of carbs. And then they round it down from 62 calories to 60. What if it was uh, soluble fiber and had two calories per gram? Then really it, you have to add four calories. So it really would have like 60 something, like 65. So, so, so you get the point here. They lie to do whatever they want. You don't know exactly how many calories are in something because you don't know they could make anything up. They get, there's no police officer knocking on lavish bread's doors and saying, there's 68 calories, not 60. You're under arrest, bread. No, they don't do that. And the two fayan, this is my favorite of all. If you multiply the calories out, they do the same thing. They subtract all the fiber, claim it has zero calories, and then it makes it work out to the calories listed. But if you want to get really fine and dandy into it, what if those fiber calories had calories, which some of them do. Some of them are insoluble, some of them are soluble, okay? So 
they don't know. They don't say, it doesn't say what's what. So you can assume that some of them have two calories per gram. So instead of 100, this might have 110, maybe it has 120. We don't know. But the point is, you don't know. So stop thinking you can accurately track your calories. Does that mean you shouldn't track calories? No, but it means you should be mindful that fiber has calories. And if you're dieting really hard and you have gut bacteria, it can break down some of that and turn it into calories. In other words, it can get calories from it. So it's not zero calories. So a lot of people, they eat anything greens and they don't even consider it as calories. I have clients that do this. Oh, I just had like spinach and lettuce and romaine and like bean, green bean. So I don't count those calories because it's all fiber. No, it's not all fiber. There's protein in it. There's carbs in it. It's, it's food. So don't trick yourself into thinking just because it's loaded in fiber, it means there's no calories. But I'm not telling you to avoid fibrous foods. Fiber, I eat so much fiber because it's good for you and it makes you more full. Full, longer, less likely to binge. And that fiber that's adding to the water and making like a gel in your stomach and sitting there and lowering the glycemic load of the food that you're eating. So if you're eating bread and whatever, rice, and you're eating stuff that has a lot of fiber, it's making that glycemic load lower, slowering, slowering, slowering is not a word, lowering absorption rates. And that makes you full longer versus you eat a rice crisp a square, Grego Gallagher, that is not going to slow any absorption rate. It's going to just boom, spike insulin. You're going to get more hungry and then you're going to want a 1200 calorie meal and not be full and then eat after and then crave an ice cream bar before bed or a chocolate bar. That's what happens when you don't eat properly. If you eat right and you think of a lot of fiber, low calorie dense foods, you will have a much more likely chance of being lean. Some people can be lean and eat like crap all the time. They have lo like amazing genetics for this. They have a fewer amount of fat cells and it's easy for them. Other people, tons of fat cells, they eat super healthy and they're still obese because their body wants them to be. It's not their fault. Obviously with crazy amounts of exercise and discipline and diet and the whole thing, they can improve dramatically, but they're still genetically inclined like endomorphs to become fatter than they want. That's life. You can't pick your parents. You know, if you could, you just choose better parents, you know, choose Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then you have like more muscle genes. That's just how it would work. Okay. So gregdoucette.com hire me for coaching. I know what I'm talking about in the real, real world. Subscribe, bell button, like, comment, subscribe, bell button, like, comment, all of this comment. You don't know anything about fiber. You forgot to mention this kind and you don't know what you're doing because I studied it in biology and I'm a nutritionist, even though I'm 50 pounds overweight and I'm a nutritionist and I'm a dietitian. I know how to eat better than you. Yeah, whatever. Okay, sure. You know more about nutrition than me. Back it up with your own physique. I'll be your own in their ruined stuffs. Then take them and see if that makes you amazing. It doesn't. You take HRT, it doesn't clean the house. It doesn't cook your meals. It doesn't put you to sleep on time. It certainly doesn't get your butt into the gym and train harder than last time. And so you can take whatever you want, but it's not going to magically turn you into Mr. Physique 2020. Say, study, learn, watch more of my videos. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IBB Pro. Follow me there. We can talk on that site. Don't DM me a bunch of questions. I don't have time for them. Okay. Write them on the YouTube channel below and I screenshot some and answer them in a Q and A. Okay. That's where I do it. Don't private message me this stuff. Private message me to hire me. That's it. All right. So I'm ready to tune out. I'm going to go eat some more fiber probably. Go to the gym and until next time, oh, bloop a video here. Watch it and bloop that. Top 10 tips to lose weight, top 10 something else. Or not, even whatever. We'll decide later. There and there. Until next time, I am out.